The U.S. men's national team has released their roster for that friendly against Portugal. Ale Moreno is here with me now. Ale, if we have a look at the roster, some young, young names. It's a nice little young look, I would say. So what do you make of this, Ale? I'm not surprised, and really is the way that it should be. I mean, what's the point of bringing some of the older names? We already know what they can and can't do. <laughs> well, they didn't do already. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, you, you took it there. <laughs> Um, the truth is, is that you are looking into the future and you want to see what some of these guys look like. The, the problem is... This early on. Yeah. Well, but the, the problem is, is that you don't have a coach in place. So you bring these players in and it's great that they get an opportunity to showcase what they are and who they are, not only what they do on the field and on game day, but how they carry themselves through the whole call, how they carry themselves in practice sessions. All those things are important. But then... Once you hire a new coach, that coach is going to have to say, see that same thing for himself. He's going to have to have the opportunity to see what Tyler Adams looked like in the training session, what he looks like in a call, or what he looks like in a game. So it's back to the drawing board. So it, it, as much as this is an opportunity to see young guys, well, they're being seen by whom? Not by the eyes that matter, because the eyes that matter is whoever the coach becomes and whenever that decision is made. Uh, until then, it's just, again, it's, it's opportunities for these kids. I just don't know how important of an opportunity it is. So what's the role of the other experienced players? Because we look at a player like Ale Bedoya, who is the most capped with 65 mm -hmm. there. What, what's their role now when you don't have the leadership of a set coach? Well, their role is to provide some sort of structure uh, and also to enjoy their call-ups uh, to the national team because it may be coming to an end to a lot of these guys. Uh, those guys are also making cases for themselves in that I like to be around here. Mm -hmm. and, it, and so you have to showcase yourself not only in what you do on the field, but how do you provide that leadership? Is that an important presence for the future? Do we keep you around because you provide uh, a semblance of structure to what we do and how we do things within, within this system? Uh, the, but I, I go back to the initial point. That structure will be set by the new manager, by the new head coach. So whatever Alejandro Bedoya or any of these veteran players that might have been called in, whatever they bring to the table, it may not be what this new coach is looking for. And so right now it's sort of, if it's entering for everybody. It's not only the coach, it's for the players as well. And the fact is, is it empty. There's an emptiness to these games simply because they're not going to the World Cup. There's nothing to prepare for. That is an empty feeling that this, this players and this team is not used to. Oh, you went there, not me. Thanks well, so much, Dale Moreno. He's it's speaking facts. the truth, though. You are speaking <laughs> the facts. So experimental times for the U.S. men's national team. We'll see who of this young crowd will become a real, real star, hopefully in the future, when it does matter. <laughs>